Hey friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Logan, and today we're going to be looking at There Was Jesus by Zach Williams featuring Dolly Parton. This song's an awesome song, and it was actually requested by Christina, so a huge shout out to Christina. Thank you for requesting this song. Let's jump right in. You're watching Logan's Lessons. All right, if you haven't yet, go grab your guitar and grab your capo, because we're going to have that capo on our first fret. Let's get started. All right, the first part we're going to be talking about is the verse. And the verse, there are a couple chords. The first chord is a G chord. Okay, second chord we're going to have is a B minor chord. This chord is actually going to be a bar chord. And it's going to be pretty tricky. We're getting to, into some intermediate to advanced stuff here. And how we're going to play this, we're going to put our first finger on the um, second fret of our... Um, the second fret of our A string, our third finger is going to be on the um, fourth fret of our um, of our D string, and this is all relative to the capo. Okay, fourth fret of our D string, our fourth finger, our pinky finger, is going to be on the fourth fret of our G string, and the second finger, our middle finger, is going to be on the third fret of our B string. Okay. That's all relative to the capo. All right, the next chord we have is a C chord. Then to an A minor seven chord, which is gonna be a C chord without our third finger. All right. Then back to G. All right, so I'm gonna be teaching you the, um, the beginner version of this song. There's a lot of layers of guitar parts, but I'm gonna teach you the um, the part that's gonna get you there the fastest and you're going to have the most success with, all right? So what we're gonna be doing for the chord, for the verses, I mean, is we're gonna be strumming the chord and then we're going to be picking some additional notes in the chord, all right? Um, this just gives it a little bit of fullness and um, some interest. And it's not that hard. So what we're gonna do is we're just, every chord is gonna be like, Pick out a couple notes, you know, and then you go to B minor, to C, to A minor 7, to G. And what I like to do with the G is actually play the lead guitar part, part of this um, chord. And what it is, is you're going to put your third finger on the fourth fret of your G string, all right? And you're going to slide that down to the second fret, so it's going to look like this, right? Playing it with your D string. So you're going to play these two notes with this hand. It's going to look like this. You're going to go, you're going to slide from there down, then open, all right? So all together you got... And that's only after you play the second G chord of the sequence. So it goes G to B minor to C to A minor 7 and back to G and then you go. Alright? That's how that's going to go. And so it's just picking around, arpeggiating the chord if you will. Um, that's not necessary but it just adds a little bit of fullness and interest in the chord progression. All right? If you want to add it. So next thing we have up is the chorus. We're going to an E minor chord to start off. You're going to put your second finger on the second fret of your A string and your third finger on the second fret of your D string. All right? Then you're going to go to C, then to G, then to D. Strumming pattern here is going to be a. That's down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up. Alright? Slowly. Down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up. Alright? 
and that is the chorus. The first chorus you end on a G, the second chorus you end on an E minor, which transitions into the bridge. The bridge is the same um, chord progression as the um, as the chorus. For the bridge, since we have the same exact chord progression as the chorus, the only thing that's going to change is the strumming pattern. And I'll show that to you right now. I'll play it, and then I'll explain it to you. All right. So what you're going to be doing, it's going to sound like this. All right, so all that is, is it's, um, you're going to be like, and it's going to crescendo throughout the bridge, meaning it's going to ramp up in dynamics and it's going to get louder. But basically what you're doing is you're playing the root note and then you're strumming up. So it's just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then to C, you're going to be, so for the E minor, your root note is the open E string. Then to C, your root note's going to be the third fret of your A string. what it's going to sound like. Then G is going to be the third fret of your E string. And D, that's going to be the, your open D string. All right, and that's going to be the basic strumming pattern. So all together you have. Then I go straight back into the into the chorus and then it ends on a G. All right, it does a couple tag lines where it's just playing a G in the same strumming pattern as the chorus and then it just leaves it off and says there was Jesus. And that is the end of the song. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please like and subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful day. I have one announcement for you. I just dropped my new single, What Comes After This, is available on all streaming platforms under the name Logan Freewell. The link will be in the description box below. And I also would like to inform you that I just started a new YouTube channel called Official Logan Freewell where I'll be posting my original music, music videos, and other content that you don't want to miss. So go check those out. The link will be in the description box. And if you have a request for a song like this one, please leave it in the comments below. Have a great week.